Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the occasion to present MTA Mess Technic solution for cableless video inspection of sewer force mains with integrated leak detection. Sounds a bit complicated. I hope I can explain this to you in, in 15 minutes. So my name is Silvia Pechnik. I'm responsible for marketing and business development at MTA, a small company of 12 people located in the southern part of Austria. And our, our owner and general manager, Mr. Marco Taferna, had, this, had the idea for MTA Pipe Inspector in the year 2013. And we are on the market. Uh, first, we showed it uh, at the IFAT in Munich in 2014. So, which situation are we facing if it comes to inspecting and um, maintaining transport and distribution pipelines? Um, maintenance and inspection is mainly based on one criteria of the pipeline's age, which is not enough and which doesn't mean that it's necessarily the oldest part of the pipeline which needs to be inspected uh, most importantly. So if you decide to, to inspect it by video, you have the limit is the cable length, which is not that is not too long. If you decide to uh, inspect the pipeline by uh, by acoustic means and untethered devices, you have no optical control of your results. So MTA pipe inspector tries to combine uh, those uh, both parts, acoustic and video um, data, for a reliable. Uh, database for, for your strategic maintenance. And sometimes you have uh, problems accessing uh, the, the site due to heavy traffic or security reasons. And another ve very important point is that mostly service must not be interrupted. Um, and there comes MTA pipe inspector because we even need um, the pipeline to be in, uh, in operation because the device is moving forward by the media's uh, flow. So um, we mainly make a difference between gravity applications and pressure applications, be it potable water, raw water, hydropower, wastewater, uh, that it makes no difference. And we go uh, from DN100 to DN3000, regardless the pipeline material. So this, this device uh, is for pressure applications. They look a little bit different to the, one, uh, to the ones uh, suitable for gravity applications. Um, since we make use of the pipeline's uh, flow velocity, of the media's flow velocity, we, have, we provide several devices in sizes for um, several diameters. So the smallest one, the smallest device, which I brought along, maybe you want to have a look at it, uh, is DN65 in diameter, suitable for applications up to about 250. And uh, there we have a runtime approximately of three hours. The runtime is depending on uh, the flow velocity. Let's assume a flow velocity of one meter per second. <laughs> we have, um, that's why I have my red jacket today. <laughs> oh, sorry. So uh, if we have one meter per second, so we have 3,600 meter um, uh, uh, per hour, to, to be which can be inspected with the small one. So there, I want to stay a little bit at this uh, slide because when we even can, the main, the main power um, is needed by the video. Uh, because for video, you need light and light is produced by the batteries which are included in the device. So um, the longer the pipeline and if you like to get video data, we need bigger devices. So we can even inspect big diameter, uh, big uh, pipelines with a small device if you're only looking at leak detection. So um, because that, this is not that energy consuming like, like video inspection. <clears throat> So this is a, a, a small overview of what's in, in the device, hidden in the device. As I said, it's self-floating. Uh, we are depending on the flow velocity, and, but the, in pressure pipelines, 
the device goes through the pipeline in the middle of the pipeline where you have the, the biggest, uh, the highest flow velocity. And this avoids that the uh, device itself creates noises which could cover a leak noise. Because how we find leakages is by acoustic means. Um, um, a leakage produces a very unique noise which we can filter out uh, of the general noises existing in a pipeline. Um, it's 90 degrees bent capable. Um, of course, we can, um, f apart from the acoustic leak detection and the general overview delivered by the video, we can find air pockets by, optic, uh, by optical means. It's not possible. Maybe somebody else tells you something else, but from our point of view and from our experience, it's not possible to detect air pockets by acoustic means. You need video uh, proof there. Uh, since we have temperature um, sensors built in, we can detect extraneous water, which is very or getting more and more important in wastewater applications. We have a length measurement system uh, plus accelerate, acceleration sensors so that we always know where the device is at a certain time because time plus acceleration gives you the location or position of the device at a certain time. Um, and we have the main or one of the first questions is always um, and what happens if it gets stuck. Uh, the device sends out a signal for uh, detecting it uh, in 33 kilohertz or for uh, metallic pipelines in 512 hertz. Um, the, the data transfer is not done online. It's the, self, it's the same thing as if you uh, um, enter into a tunnel with your car, there is no more GPS. So we do it afterwards. The data evaluation is, is, is done at, in the office afterwards. And we have a USB um, interface to, to, to get it out. Um, we can even, we can even uh, give you an overview of the horizontal profile or laying in the, in the soil of the pipeline by, um, by recording uh, pressure data. So the pressure is depending on the depth, of the laying depth, and we can uh, tell you about the, this horizontal profile as well. Um, Back to the main question, how do we get it in and get it out again? Uh, it's the same, we can use uh, existing fittings, pigging stations. Imagine uh, the, the procedure of putting in a pipe inspector into a pipeline, like it's like a pigging procedure. So we, we can make use of existing fittings, or if not available, we can put our equipment on existing air valves, scare valves, what, whatever. Um, and to get it out again, if, it's not, if it cannot be flushed out, let's say at a basin, for instance, uh, which can happen in, in wastewater applications um, very often, we, can, we bring along our equipment, uh, retrieval, a removal sluice put in at a fitting and with a rescue net, we catch it like a fish. This overview uh, shows again that pipe inspector is regardless of the pipeline material, applicable for, for all applications from potable water. Is there a, yeah, I got it, <laughs> finally. Uh, or from potable water, wastewater, hydropower, because we are able to inspect pipelines up to 100 bar, uh, gas, oil, or district heating. And of course, uh, apart from, sorry, apart from video inspection and leak, de leak detection, uh, we are able to find leakages down to one liter per hour. Um, and here I want to compare it with other uh, procedures, for instance, with untethered acoustic devices uh, and video cameras or special solutions cameras with parachutes. So uh, we're covering all applications, video leakage detection of air pockets by optical means, we have the integrated length measurement, which indicates the precise position of the device at a certain damage. We have the temperature measurement for extraneous water, the pipeline, the horizontal pipeline, 
detection signal to retrieve it if it gets stuck, and from DN 100 to 3000 up to 50 kilometers, 90 degrees band capable. By the way, it's also, we have an Austrian certificate for portable water, uh, which uh, um, may be interesting as well, although we are talking about wastewater here. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about a special project we did in 2015 in Austria. It was a DN200 uh, PE PhD pipeline, um, partly going through uh, at the bottom of a lake. It was uh, laid at the bottom of a lake. No one knew where it was. Um, and this was the the main picture, this is a screenshot from, from, the, um, from the software, uh, from, from the video. So it was, a, there was a compression and it afterwards we found out when, when we indicated where to dig, where to excavate, they found this compressed pipeline and here the device got stuck. Uh, this is an original video uh, sequence from, from this project just to give you um, an, an sh a short overview how the video data looks when... So here you see the device is, is centered. We can, arrange, we can arrange its position by, by adding or removing weight. Uh, so it's quite balanced for, for the specific application. Here you have the, the length uh, indication and um, so we have no sound, but uh, as I told you already, the, the typical leakage sound uh, can, be, um, can be analyzed by, by our technicians afterwards in the office. So this is not done online. Um, this is a screenshot from, from the software where our technicians uh, indicate where is the damage clockwise, so 10, 10 o'clock would be about here. I don't want to go into deep in this, we can do this later on, but I want, what I want you to show is here we have the pressure and this is the audio data at the same time and you have a little bit loss of pressure here and this is a typical leakage image uh, resulting from the typical leakage sound. And this is the acceleration data, so we can precisely say where, where the pipe uh, inspector was at the certain time when the damage occurred. This is an inspection report the, the customer gets from us, where we have the position, sorry, um, we have the position in the video, uh, the occurrence of a leakage, for instance, video position plus uh, the um, photo and finally, let's talk about money. We are providing Pipe Inspector mainly as a service right now. Uh, and um, the costs um, result from travel costs and, and normal setup, site setup and goes per meter. We start at about one pound or let's say 90 um, P up to 16 pounds per meter, depending on the purpose. Uh, on the length and on the diameter of, of the pipeline. Um, chemical usage was, was an issue. There is none apart from disinfectants used when we're working in, in potable water applications. And it's 100% Austrian production. Currently, we did, uh, we did, since 2014, we did uh, regular projects in, in Europe in Austria, Czech Republic, Germany, Italy, so all our neighbors already know, know us. We have uh, distribution partners in, in meanwhile, uh, 38 countries, but the markets we are focusing currently is the UK, Australia, Canada, and South America. We are, as I said, a very small company, and the fact is that people <laughs> come, come contact us um, if they are interested in, in having those projects. Of course, what we, are, what we like to do next is we would be happy if we find further pilot projects in new markets. Mm -hmm. And um, 
when we look forward, uh, when we look uh, uh, in the near future, we are de highly depending on the development in, uh, in, in the components, let's say, um, accumulators um, and uh, video technique. And as soon as this gets uh, uh, better, we, we try to implement it. And another thing is risk assessment. We are cooperating with uh, some engineering offices in Germany to contribute to a better risk assessment and to a better strategic maintenance and inspection policy of, of your companies. Yeah, so what does Pipe Inspector? It's coupling acoustic references with video confirmation. So it takes out the guesswork and uh, we can find, which nobody else can do, air or gas pockets in, in pressure systems. So as I said, we are looking for pilot projects and distribution partners and um, I'm available for your questions now and afterwards. And I say thank you very much. This is another uh, list, just uh, resume what Pipe Inspector can do, but I, I'm, I'm, my time is over. <laughs> I want to avoid another fire alarm. So thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>